Okay, well, you know it. I say it every week, but it still remains true. The best way to get to know somebody is to find out exactly what turns them on. So, Eve, can you tell us uh, a little bit about what's got you worked up right now? Sure. I usually would be a book or a show, but I've been so busy lately. But I'm still trying to prioritize getting out of purity culture. It's something that's going to take me, I think, the rest of my life to deprogram from. But I have found that sexy pajamas, sleeping in something (laughs) that makes me feel really sexy for no reason, not for a partner, not for pictures, not for content, uh, just for myself, is been so empowering, like going to bed in something that makes me, you know, something comfortable, not just like, I mean, unless you are really into uncomfortable lingerie, that's fine too. But <laughs> right, yeah, I mean, that, that, it's got its own place. <laughs> yeah, totally. But something silky, something uh, sensual feeling. And then in the morning, doesn't matter how crazy my hair is or if I forgot to take my makeup off, I'm like wearing something that makes me feel empowered. So later when I'm wearing my, uh, you know, old jeans or whatever, I'm like, well, yeah, but I know, I know how I'm going to look later tonight by myself. <laughs> I know in my head. No, I, I love that idea. I feel like we get so wrapped up in the performance of sexuality of, of wanting to look hot and wanting yeah. to draw people in. And that that's great. But there's something beautiful about taking the time and the effort to just enjoy that shit for yourself. Yes. I've been spending more money on what I wear to sleep by myself <laughs> than <laughs> what I wear in outfits to like go out and be around people. And I'm loving it right now. So Hey, it's it's your money. You should be enjoying it. Glad <laughs> to hear it. I appreciate the recommendation. Yes. Uh, I'll tell folks uh, what's what's got me turned on right now is uh, is an old one, something I, I think I've probably even talked about on this show before, but it just it lined up so much with everything that we're going to be discussing tonight. Uh, and that's uh, Burnout, The Secret to Unlocking the Stress Cycle. This is a, an incredible book by Amelia and Emily Nagoski. Uh, Emily Nagoski in particular is a voice we talk about on this show all the time. And I, I really encourage people to check out this uh, audio book in particular. Mm-hmm. The audio version is a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, we'll probably get into it a little bit later, but they uh, get so tired and frustrated with the amount of time that they spend talking about the patriarchy in this conversation around burnout and around all of the invisible pressures that are put particularly on women in our society that they eventually just had to start shorthanding it to ugh patriarchy and i hear that sound effect in my head like every time i turn on the news or every time i see some terrible headline uh, and so I think we're going to be we're going to be using that a little bit tonight. That's perfect. I need to listen to that. It sounds amazing. Yeah, it's a it's a lot of fun. And honestly, who in this world right now in this like COVID political bullshit? I mean, you you've seen it. You feel the existential malaise. Like we're yeah. all going through it. Who is not experiencing some level of burnout? It's uh, it's a really really excellent read.